So you want to know what it's like to be a Freedom employee. Well, it just so happens today I am going to take you on a ride along while I'm running errands and show you what it is that Freedom employees do when we're not making videos. All right, let's go ahead. Ah, detach that. Here we have some super important paperwork that we will be uh, using to do, do legal stuff. All right, so first things first, got to make sure that all of your bases are covered, your bed is made, and that you have your lights turned off. Ah, it's dark. First thing that I do every single morning, make sure that I take my pills. Got to make sure you stay healthy. Don't judge me. Got to be responsible. Got to walk the dog. We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't pull. Don't pull. Freedom, our chariot awaits. In this case, my 08 Pontiac Grand Prix. It gets me from point A to point B. So now that we are in our car, we're going to load up our favorite for dummies book and go on. Of course, I'm not going to play that now. Copyright. And here we go. So I came to the conclusion that car vlogging is dangerous. Uh, we're now here at the gas station, going to stop in, going to grab uh, a couple of uh, waters for the trip, and uh, we'll, we do have an hour-long trip ahead of us. I hope you guys are ready for this. I may edit 99% of that out. So something interesting happened. I went into the convenience store with my camera and got talking about YouTube, and Freedom just got a new partner. Haha, <laughs> congrats! Uh, Charlie Styles, shout out! Also, I uh, did get to film some B-roll because I had my camera with me talking about marketing colors. Awesome! So in our journey, we actually passed by the Charlotte Motor Speedway, and, uh, and that's actually really cool living in uh, this particular part of the country because, you know, I get to actually, you know, meet NASCAR drivers and that kind of thing on a fairly regular basis. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, we get to head through Charlotte a lot of really tall buildings and things like that. And, uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of cool. And as we progress, you'll actually start to see uh, some other landmarks. Like this one, Carowinds. It's a local amusement park. Alright, and down some creepy back roads and, you know, large corporations who hide in the woods for reasons I don't really understand. And just as we are about to approach our destination, uh, we uh, go through more woods. That's another great part about living in this part of the country is there, there's just, you know, woods everywhere. Oh, here I am. I am in Fort Mill, South Carolina, taking care of some, um, you know, I'm not really sure how top secret this particular project is, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut just to be on the safe side. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go in here and we're going to talk to some people and uh, do some stuff. So yeah. So this is interesting. Um, I went in to go take care of the uh, Freedom business, and what we're doing apparently requires approval before we can do it. And I called ahead, did everything I was supposed to, came down here, found out that they didn't call for approval when I called them. They waited until I got here. So I drove an hour, and then they called for approval, and now we're waiting for an email back. And the reason I'm out here in my car and not in there is because, first off, the Muzak stuff that they're playing in there, it, it's, it's bad. It's real bad. Um, that, and I don't really know the music copyright stuff, or how they're, I, I don't, I would just much rather not have that in this video. So yeah, there's, there's that. Alright, so uh, we finished up with our meeting, and uh, things are kind of up in the air right now, but that's a good thing. That means that uh, not everything has been decided, things could still very well work out in our favor, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really optimistic about what uh, what I got to do here today. Uh, don't, I don't really know what I can talk about and what I can't, so try to, try to bear with me on that. But yeah, I think uh, I think today was a good step in the right direction for freedom and and for any TV as a whole. But yeah, anyways, that's enough about that. Uh, yeah, and I think we're gonna go ahead and jump back to me at the house, dear. Yeah, at the house, the, the studio at the house. All right. I should I should probably figure out how to shut this off without having to look at the camera because I'm moving. 
So I got home, and what I didn't show you is I had to sit down. Now, I say I had to sit down for a couple of hours and play this game called Trove. And I don't say I had to because I don't like the game. I say I had to because it's a work thing. Like, what other job on the face of the planet are you going to have where, like, it's one of your duties to sit down and play games with other people? Like, what? What kind of job is this? Um... So yeah, there's there's that. And uh, yeah, I'm about to do some unboxings because I have some gear come in and uh, you know, uh, Freedom uh, kind of helped me get some of the gear. So that'll be up on the High Tech channel soon-ish. I'm gonna have to record that stuff. And uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I also today got in uh, my new webcam. Now this is being recorded on my little handheld dilly. It's not a great camera, it really isn't, but it works, it does the job, like for vlogging stuff like this, but um, it only does it in 720p, so it's not really going to do anything that I need it to do for, you know, like daily stuff that I do on, on Freedom Central, it just, it doesn't do 1080p, you know, the, the quality on it's just, it's kind of meh, but yeah, so, I don't know, I might try to put in some, some stuff here as far as, um, like, you know, the unboxing stuff I'm doing. I don't know. Let's see what let's see what happens. Hi there, Spitfire here with Freedom. Today we will be unboxing this. This is the Logitech C930E, which came highly recommended by the Freedom community in a video that I put up asking about webcams. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to find the largest knife we can in our kitchen. And we are going to open this package. Why? Because an unboxing video without a comically large knife just isn't the same. Thanks for joining me on my day. So now you know what it's like to be a Freedom employee. If you think that you can hang with the big dogs and do something like this on a daily basis, well, let me know in the comment section down below. You can also apply to be Freedom staff on, well, Freedom Central. There should be a link in the description to a video telling you even more about what we do and that kind of stuff. Anyways, till next time, I'm Anthony. Like, subscribe, comments please.